and welcome to another episode of the How To CEO Show. Today, I'm delighted to be interviewing Matthew from Quantum RE. I've known Matthew for 10 years plus now. He has an amazing company that is, is taking off uh, super fast, uh, has a uh, oversubscribed crowdfunding campaign, has real revenue, um, is driving amazing things, and is at the forefront of, uh, of Web3. Matthew, welcome. Thank you, Murray. Thank you for having me on. Great to see you again. You too. So, so tell, tell us about you, yourself and your project. Um, well, Quantum RE is the company, and what we do is we make home equity accessible, investable, and tradable. And what that means is if you're a homeowner and you have equity in your home and you want to tap into that equity, but you don't want to borrow more money, we can help you. So we are investors and not lenders. So what that means is that uh, we will invest in the potential appreciation of the equity of your home. And in exchange for that, you get a cash lump sum up to half a million dollars um, with no monthly payments ever. So from a homeowner's perspective, we solve a real problem for people that want to access their home equity without taking on more debt. And that means no interest, no extra mortgages, no HELOCs, no monthly payments. But what we also do is we create a real estate asset that allows investors to buy into the equity of homes that are not for sale. So we're doing two really important things. On one side for homeowners, we're giving them the ability to tap into their home equity without debt. But for investors, we're enabling them to buy into a multi-trillion dollar asset class um, that is currently unavailable. So you simply cannot invest in the equity in someone's home if they live there. Um, so our platform, which is an investment platform, allows smaller investors to buy fractions of what we refer to as home equity agreements. In other words, the agreement that you sign as a homeowner to get your hands on some of your equity that is a real estate asset. And our platform, which is powered by the Algorand protocol, allows smaller investors to buy fractions of those home equity agreements. And later on this year, we'll, you'll be able to trade those. So we're creating a secondary market for this previously untapped multi-trillion dollar real estate asset class um, that is powered by um, this um, fabulous uh, blockchain technology that uh, Algorand has developed, and uh, which solves a major problem for homeowners at the same time. A very long answer to a very short question. Sorry. And so, so how does it work? I come. How, what's my minimum investment? Well, as an investor, um, currently it's going to be around about a thousand dollars because what we do is we take each one of those home equity agreements and we fractionalize and tokenize it. And we chop it up into 100 different pieces. And the reason it's 100 is because there are securities regulations that are wrapped around uh, what we're doing here. So there are certain regulations. So if it's a $200,000 investment to the homeowner, then we'll have 100 $2,000 units. So it really depends on the size of the home equity agreement. But it's typically going to be around $1,000 as, as, as a minimum investment. And then, so, so I, I get this, do I, what, what do I get? Do I get an NFT? Do I get a token? Do I get a pledge? What, what do I actually get for my, my... What you're getting is really important. It's a combination of the tradability, the functionality, the efficiency of a tokenized marketplace. So you get a, a token which represents an interest in a company that owns nothing else other than that real estate asset. So the way that we structure this, and this has to be very visible and transparent to you as, a, as an owner, is there is a separate entity that is created for each new home equity agreement. And you as an investor are buying shares in that entity. And those shares are represented by a non-fungible token or an NFT, which is recorded on the Algorand blockchain. So what you're buying is a share of a company 
that company exists and, and can be proven, the asset that that company owns is the equity and the potential appreciation of this particular property. So when uh, you know push comes to shove and you want to see what you've actually got, on the blockchain, all of the information, the contracts, uh, the title deeds, the lien, all of that is recorded and evidenced as part of the smart contract. And again, that really leverages um, all of the benefits that tokenization brings, not just in terms of proof of trading, so you can see who has bought and who, or you can see a history of the trading activity. You can also see, with just a few clicks, what is actually uh, the underlying asset that sits behind that token. And so, so, so I, let's say I have $1,000, I, I buy this token, and then I, the value of it, uh, say the, ho the house is, is um, sold in five years' time, uh, do I? I can only realize the value of the token in five years' time. Is there's no there's no interest. There's no there's no cash flow from this token. Is is that right? It is an equity based investment. So in other words, with equity based investments or capital, you know, your return is based on capital appreciation. So you're absolutely right. So what that means is that you uh, would need to wait until there's some type of uh, liquidity event. Now, a liquidity event could be the homeowner selling their home or refinancing the home equity agreement. Um, or it could be, in, in, in which case, all of the capital will go back to all of the individual shareholders on a pro rata basis. And by that time, the house will most likely have gone up in value. So your return will be based not just on the house price appreciation, but there's this inbuilt multiple that is part of the home equity agreement. So you actually get an enhanced return. So you don't just get, if the house price has, if the house has gone up by 5%, you don't just get a 5% return. You'll probably get two and a half or three times that because of the inbuilt leverage that's part of the contract. Um, but the liquidity therefore comes from the contract liquidating, which is either going to be 10 years or the home is sold or the homeowner refinances. Or you can take your tokens through our secondary marketplace. And again, this hasn't been delivered yet, but this is something we're working on and expect to have delivered later this year. You will be able to sell some or all of your tokens to a willing buyer in the marketplace. And we think that there's going to be a very uh, active marketplace because home equity is such an enormous asset class. And to be able to buy into equity in properties that are owner occupied that is something that doesn't exist at the moment you can buy into equity into prop in, in properties that are rented out but um the issue there is that there are so many costs associated with managing those properties that your returns are never going to be as good as if you actually had a piece of the property yourself where the owner does all the heavy lifting so this is a really interesting asset class and we think there's going to be an enormous amount of interest for people that want to build their own portfolios of properties in locations that they choose, where they can buy small amounts or large amounts of these individual properties. And so I think there's going to be a, um, a, a bit of a you know, demand supply situation where hopefully there's going to be much more sort of demand. So the way you'll be able to sell your tokens will be into this marketplace. So that will be the other way of liquidating your investment and getting your returns, which you're free then to reinvest or do uh, whatever you wish. And so is this only for, for homeowners with an existing property or is it also being used for, for acquiring new properties? It's for existing properties where you're, you're a homeowner and it doesn't have to be owner occupied. You can have a home equity agreement on a rented property. So in other words, if you're a, a small landlord, for example, and, and you've got, let's say, two or three properties in your portfolio, and if you've got enough equity in those properties, we will invest in those alongside you in exchange for a share of the current value and some of the potential future appreciation. Um, what we don't do is we don't invest with you when you're buying a house. And the reason for that is that it's a completely different risk profile. 
There's nowhere near the same amount of equity cushion that we have if we're investing in properties that already have equity. So from an investor's perspective, it's, it's nowhere near as compelling or secure as investing in a property where there's already that uh, equity cushion. And then as this is growing and more people are, are trading these, uh, so you, you buy your, your token, what type, of, what type of return and what type of, what are you seeing as a, as a kind of um, an average return or an average excess at time? Well, I think really, if you, I can answer that by saying that the, if you look at house price appreciation, the returns on our investments are directly proportionate to the growth in house price appreciation. So it's very easy to um, correlate the two. It's not like a triple net lease, for example, where you've got many more moving parts. So if the underlying value of the property goes up, then the value of the home equity agreement goes up more. But, and the two are directly, they're sort of linked at the hip, as it were. Um, so if, for example, properties go up by 5%, then the value in the home equity agreement typically goes up 12 to 15%. So there's that inbuilt leverage. What we've also seen in the last six months is significant activity from an institutional perspective where there have been two very large securitizations you know, totaling about $600 million. So, um, and the last one of those was in February for, it was about $450 million. So what that means is that this as an asset class is right at the very beginning of a, a, a very exciting and rapid, rapid trajectory. Um, and it, it, we get sort of faint signals from the future when we were looking at mortgage-backed securities and the growth of that as an asset class into trillions of dollars. Um, what we're seeing here is potentially the beginnings of home equity agreements having that same institutional appetite. Now, what that means for the smaller investor is that there's going to be a lot of demand uh, for this type of asset class. So um, what that means is that you know, the more demand there is, that means that, that uh, you know, the, the larger the asset class becomes, uh, the more normal it becomes. So that, that means the more mainstream. So it becomes a very investable and a very liquid asset. Um, so there are a number of things that are all very much working in, in our favor. Um, house prices are and continue to increase. And that means that homeowners are motivated to try and find ways of accessing their equity, but without borrowing money. Um, we're also seeing more institutional interest in this as an asset class. So that means that institutions are going to want to buy potentially tokenized versions of this. We're also seeing um, the growth and the, uh, in terms of evolution and efficiency of the underlying blockchain technologies. I mentioned that we use Algorand, but um, as we see more and more marketplaces uh, appear that allow you to trade securities tokens, our tokens will be tradable on these platforms. So as a holder of a fractionalized share in a home equity agreement, which you bought through the quantum platform, potentially you'll be able to trade that in any number of different platforms. Um, so as the number of trading venues increases, you've got these all of these different forces that are, are moving you forward. You've got interest in the asset class, growth in the underlying real estate asset, growth in the venues where you can trade this. And it is a, you know, 20, I, you know it's, it's difficult to comprehend the size of this as a potential marketplace, but it is measured in the trillions of dollars. Fantastic. And so who else do you see, uh, or which other communities do you engage in who are really keen on this, uh, this type of? Project? Well, we, sit, we sort of sit at the center of fintech, prop tech, and real estate. So those are our sort of three main communities. So, um, so what we're doing really in the fintech space is creating a marketplace for a real estate asset that doesn't exist. So there's a lot of interest there. And we've recently, or we're just about to close around on Republic, which is a crowdfunding platform, uh, which was sold out. And we, we sold out, you know, very, very quickly. So there's in, uh, a lot of interest from investors who are looking to find ways to get exposure to real estate assets that are non-mainstream, where they can pick and choose where they actually put their money, rather than having to rely on fund managers or real estate investment trusts or 
things where you can't sort of put your arms around it. It's quite exciting for these investors to be able to find properties, zoom into those properties and actually take a, a share of the potential appreciation. So that's one community. But the other intersect really is the, the tokenization, the blockchain world, because what we're doing is we're developing a real use case or a real life use case on the Algorand blockchain. And that's very exciting for us. And also um, it's exciting for Algorand, for them to be able to see uh, use cases where their technology is put to the test. And um, rather than it being a technology in isolation, it's actually showing that you know Algorand is a very effective way of tokenizing real estate and other assets. So that engages all of the uh, Algorand and the communities that are related to the, seeing how blockchain can actually be very useful in a real life scenario. So, and, and those two communities intersect as well, because there are many investors that are excited by blockchain, ways that uh, blockchain is being used. Um, and also just generally seeing from a helicopter perspective, how real estate is developing. Um, you know, we have so larger groups, investor groups that have had a watching brief on this type of asset class that are becoming more involved and, you know, getting their feet wet in, in terms of making investments into home equity agreements. And so really the communities that we touch and are engaged with are diverse, but they all sort of come together because what we're doing at Quantum Murray is combining blockchain technology, uh, new asset classes. We're doing something exciting in new in a, in a very old-fashioned and well-established space. And I think really that tends to get the attention of uh, you know, many different people. Uh, and ultimately, um, what we're doing helps homeowners, it helps investors. And let's not forget you know, the importance for a homeowner of being able to access their home equity without those crushing additional monthly payments that they would get if they were going to you know, borrow more money. So that is a real life problem that we're solving. So I think if you put all of those you know, ingredients together, we are at the center of potentially a very large group of very diverse communities. How can people help you and how do they reach out to you? Um, well, everything is on our website, which is quantumre.com, Q-U-A-N-T-M-R-E.com. And the name really came about because RE as in real estate, but quantum as in small pieces. So our vision was to take something that's big and unwieldy and solid and, and use blockchain and new technologies to chop it up into little pieces and sort of atomize um, this, this asset class. Um, but it's quantumre.com. Um, you can contact us there. We have all sorts of tools to help you as a homeowner find out how much equity you can access. Um, we're also just about to launch our investment platform. So do go online, register as an investor. Um, and um, once you're in our list in, of investors, then we'll be able to um, show you our new um, projects as they come live, which I think will be sometime this month. Um, so those, those are the two main areas, or that's the main area. So everything's on the website. And um, we'd be very excited to hear from you if you're a homeowner looking to unlock some equity. Or if you're an investor looking to find out how you can get involved in what we think will be, you know, the next really interesting real estate asset class. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you, Murray. It's always a pleasure. I'm Murray Newlands. You've been listening to the How to CEO podcast. I'll see you next time.